In these few days, I was treasure hunting the hills behind me. I found some very interesting finds. In fact, I will show them to you later. But first, we are going just down there, a few kilometers down there, there is a very famous cave. In this cave, finally, we can take pictures. It's a civilized place, not like the other caves where I've been in southern Italy. So let's go to find some central Italian gold and see some beautiful caves. After a five minutes shuttle bus drive from the ticket office, we arrived to the cave entrance and visiting it was really cool. The visit to the cave is really entertaining. It lasts for about one and a half kilometers. The tour is around one hour and a half and it's amazing to see that underground cathedral. Just finished to visit the cave, it was amazing. I suggest you to come to visit this cave, it's really worth it and it's really customer friendly too. The day after, I went metal detecting in the most beautiful field that I could find in that area. In this area, nature has claimed back hundreds of square kilometers on the mountains and on the hills that in the past were densely populated. Making it perfect for exploration, sightseeing, treasure hunting and so let's go! And we have got our first interesting find. Here in the hole, you can see that I just extracted this coin. Probably it's a very old coin because it's very thin, but I can't understand what it is. Anyway, good sign. Maybe there's more, maybe there's gold. Near this hole, I got another weird coin. Another one of those very thin. And here I can see some pattern on the coin. Hey, there's another one of those coins. Crazy, just under a few centimeters of dirt. I just scrapped the surface and here it's one of those coins. This one is thicker, also very small, but uh, well, we start to see some finds. And I kept treasure hunting until sunset, those remote areas with a mysterious past. And the calm already turned on the fire because tonight I'm gonna have some barbecue, everything is ready. I'm just waiting for the wood to burn completely so I can slow grill on the embers this wonderful meat, lamb skewers, and these are uh, steaks. And now take a look at this coal, this 
embers. Just perfect for the skewers. See? Skewers on the embers at least at 10 centimeters of distance. I think now it's around 12 centimeters, so perfect distance. Wow. Hey guys, here I am back home and in front of us we have the display of all the finds of the last days and the fire is burning. Yeah, so let's watch the fire burn and at the same time see the finds of my last day of metal detecting, which is yesterday. I found one, two, three, four, five, five coins, very small, and one pendant. This pendant is almost unidentifiable but I, I think that it may be something related uh, with religion, as it, as it always is for, this, for these pendants. One thing that I had to say about all the coins that I found in these four days metal detecting in this market region, all of them are completely molten and unrecognizable, except this beautiful Roman coin. I already put some olive oil on this coin, and to protect it and to make the, the luster be more visible. I have to say that it's really impressive. This coin is really beautiful, it's quite large, it's uh, two centimeter or something of diameter. It's really an um, incredible specimen. I'm so amazed that I found it. Traianus Augusto et Imperator um, on one side and uh, SC that means Senatus Constituit and here on the side on the rim you can still read the C-O-S-T uh, Constituent Constituent probably uh, so really really in very good conditions this coin also ever present Second World War cartridges and a projectile. In fact, I tried one thing, I will show you. This, you can put it back in. It's a tight fit, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I put the projectile back in the shell. It's the same caliber. And <laughs> who knows what this spike for, because it has a ring here. So I don't know what's the relation with the ring. That's it for the finds of Marke. Four days treasure hunting in the Marke. First day, second day, third day included the spike. And fourth day here. One more thing not related to metal detecting, just related to me walking on the side of a river where I was looking for this firewood, is this lamp. I found this with my eyes and it was just on the floor and I picked it up and I thought that it was looking very interesting. It looks uh, ancient. I would say that this was an ancient oil lamp and with this pedestal it could have stuck on the wall like this. What do you think? Could this be an old oil lamp? It's made of two uh, pieces, this side and this side is cut in half and the two halves were soldered together here there is the soldering line here on the edge you can see that it has been put together with some molten metal looks like um, i can't define the, the age for, from where this comes from looks really ancient maybe roman but i seriously doubt it could it really be roman um, I don't know, because here I see that there is a hole for the electricity. I don't think that this was the hole to adjust the flame. You would adjust the flame from somewhere above here. Uh, so I think that this might be a modern-made, old-looking um, electrical uh, wall lamp. Uh, but I don't know, if you can help me identifying this object, it would be really fun. So thank you very much for watching this video until this point and thank you very much for watching my videos at all because I know that YouTube is not showing my videos to anyone 
instead is showing the videos to less and less people each time but I don't care I will still make more beautiful videos because I love doing this and thank you very much for your support see you the next time with another adventure